Hi everybody, it's Gregory Scott here. Thank you for joining me today. It's really nice to be with you and welcome to this video. I'm going to talk about Uranus today. Uranus is a planet in the chart that represents chaos in many ways. It's um, the energy of rebellion and the energy of not conforming, of the unexpected, of thinking outside of the box, of being eccentric, being quirky, doing your own thing, refusing to kind of follow the status quo and just like being your own person and setting your own kind of rules and, and saying what's right and what isn't. It also represents really unexpected forces. So miracles that can just happen in your life through kind of no, that you have no control over. And it can also represent really kind of chaotic energy like electricity that just kind of enters a situation and electrifies it and make it really pop. Now, you will have a birth chart, which means you will have a snapshot of what was going on in the heavens when you were born. Everyone has it. You know, Mars was over there and Mercury was over there and Saturn was over there. That's just a, a picture of what was going on in the heavens at the moment of your birth. Now, if you think of that chart as a circle, Uranus will be in there somewhere. Let's say it's here, okay? It will take Uranus 84 years to reach the place where it was when you were born. So if you divide that by half, by the time it's 42, it will be exactly opposite where it was when you were born. And that's a significant time. That's a time of real um, crisis often. And this is what's called the Uranus half cycle. So at age 42, you will have the opportunity to reevaluate your life, to look at what you've done, what patterns are now well established. And it gives you the opportunity to change those things. So it'll look, you know, it'll look like a crisis in many ways. So for instance, if you're um, a, a person who's um, always had career as the primary purpose and who's um, not wanted children, it could be that at age 42, you reevaluate that and you visit, revisit those kind of themes of life and that you decide, hey, maybe now I do want to have children. But it represents a real alteration to your life. So it's a big event and it's something that happens despite you. So it's not like um, you know, you're working away at something and you continue to be happy and satisfied. This is an outside energy that comes in, electrifies it and puts your life under the microscope and it says, do you want to stay in this kind of way of doing things or do you want to rebel and do you want to blow things up and do you want to make things different? Now, that's, necess that's not necessarily good or bad, but it is an opportunity for change. So, if you think about the new moon as a time to plant new seeds, to set intentions, the Uranus half cycle when it happens at age 42 is like new seeds or um, invading weed seeds, just invading your kind of... Um, patch there and just growing by themselves. It's something completely unexpected. You don't set the intentions, you don't have anything to do with it, and it just appears and it happens. So it is something that is like a control alt delete in the middle of your life, and it can serve as a spring clean to really um, make some alterations. I mean, when I read for people, I often see this as, um, often in men, it looks like, it looks like, um, trying to recapture a part of youth. So it's usually represented by getting a sports car or, um, you know, um, leaving a marriage and, and finding um, a much younger partner. In women, it's often um, a reevaluation of the life that's been led so far. So it could be that um, it's time to you know, if up until that point it's all it's been about family and it's been about kind of nurturing others, then often it's about what do I want in terms of a career, what message do I have to give to the world. But it often represents, and it is, you know, exactly halfway across, it is a 180, so it's flipping your perspective on life around completely and really doing something different. And that's all that is, so... These concepts often sound quite complicated, but they really aren't. So I hope you found that useful, and um, it's given you a little bit of information about the planet Uranus and how it moves. If you'd like a private astrology reading with me, or tarot reading, uh, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. 
and um, remember to subscribe to my channel so you get updates about these kinds of videos and if you'd like to get in touch with me on Facebook you can it's facebook.com forward slash Gregory Scott 444. Have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you soon.